appears to be a reasonable amount where they would pay five, then they would pay two point two thousand five, they would pay a total of seven thousand five hundred dollars. So therefore, on the units would generate a two million dollar kitty uh, for us to put in the bank, uh, assuming all of them came in at one time and all that, of which we would also earn earnings on that, for which I did not calculate. Um, so um, I fail to finish this up with that would end up with another 10% reduction in fees, probably more, because there'd be interest earned on this money over the years. Reduction in fees to the village business or to all the business? To all the business. And if the village approved 400 additional village and town getting greedy, um, we would probably be able to reduce our fee structure by uh, 50% or more. Now, I will question you, these are estimates based on estimates, but um, I, um, I've got all kinds of calculations, hopefully they all uh, are correct, but I think that it gives you an overall picture of what would happen and how we would be able to reduce the water bills, or excuse me, the sewer bills that the people are paying. Unless somebody comes up with a more creative way, which one of the creative ways is to find some a uh, billionaire who would like to donate $30 million to the uh, town fund. And that's that. Now there are a couple of things that have come up in this, um, going through this, um, which may need further study, and, uh, and I'll talk to Kyle and the mayor about it and see if they want to go forward. Um, but I will tell you it's based on uh, allocation of expenses, it's based on um, actual uh, water usage versus sewer usage, and it also is based on uh, certain people not necessarily because of circumstances may not be paying the fee uh, for the sewer. Not illegally, all legal, but something that may need to be looked at. Uh, not a great deal of money, but uh, it might be something that is the next step in trying to clean this up. The one thing that we're actually going to do is I'll be working with the DPW like, uh, to come up with a, 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 an allocation of expenses that the DPW spends on sewer. <coughs> For the last up teen years we've been using a fixed amount uh, and I think it's time now to find out what that is. Uh, and then there's a couple of other things uh, which I'm not bringing you the detail, but I haven't worked at the detail to see if it even makes any sense. Are you so talking about the, the town and village sewer agreement that somebody's referring to? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, no, I'm talking uh, it may. May. No, 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 that I understand it before may. that. What you were discussing before that. What there may be some uh, calculations that have to be looked at, but I don't have enough information to make any general generalization. I don't even know the topic. I don't even want to uh, uh, read okay. any topic. Okay. It has to do with um, uh, a lot of times when you're in water and sewer, the sewer is based on water usage. Mm -hmm. The question always is, um, do, does the water that people are paying equal the sewer? In other words, is that number the same amount of usage? Uh, the same could go for uh, perhaps uh, other uses as well. Um, I don't have that information to even make a generalization, so I'd rather not even uh, okay. get that to you. Are there any questions on any Yeah, Mike, I, I see that, you know, when you did the, the thing, I don't see any place where, you know, like adding 400 users would increase our cost so much it's just negligent that the, the, the 400? I don't think it's negligent, but I, I don't think it, it's exorbitant. Yeah. Uh, you have, um, we have excess capacity. Yeah. Uh, so the additional cost would probably be maybe chemicals, uh, uh, perhaps there would be um, electric. an additional, excuse me? Electric. Electric. You know, I didn't, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, I didn't go into the actual expenses. Obviously, if the board decided to, we're going to do something about allowing people in, I think we should further look at what would the expenses be and, uh, to see what the real savings would be or would the savings be wiped out by the additional expenses? 
Well, you've got the uh, the payroll, right? You've got the um, the debt, okay. and then you've got the utilities and chemicals. And those are big numbers, but uh, on a two million, two hundred thousand dollar budget, maybe they're three hundred grand, maybe they're uh, I don't. I don't they're know. variable. Yeah, they are variable. The three hundred. Yeah. So most, well, good majority of it's fixed. A lot of it's fixed. Yeah. Now, hopefully, if you increase by 400 users, for example, or 800, <coughs> do we need now another sewer plant? That's, 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 yeah, that's, 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 that's the question. stuff you have to look at. Um, you know, if you ever got close and said, you know, we are going to do something, what are the real costs? Right. Then we would have, have to uh, kind of get somebody that can uh, either mine or maybe an engineer to say, look, this is your additional chemical mm -hmm. cost, dumping cost, uh, right. and that kind of stuff. Because once you get into a man, a person, mm -hmm. then you lose a lot of, uh, of course, a lot of money with the, uh, with the, uh, right. with the Yeah, where is that limit? Yeah, where is that stuff? Now, are we, um, and I don't know the answer to this, are we at a point now where we can go 200 without adding any more costs? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But that's my next question. I mean, because we know that, you know, in conversation here, going to be able to move forward with any of this at whatever level you want to evaluate uh, that we need the true cost. Well, I, I, can, I can do that next if that's what you'd like. Um, but this was a start of, you know, no, no, and very simply yeah. centered out so it's easily understood. Thank okay. you. I have two quick questions. Sure. This yearly shortfall we're experiencing. A, what would be the, what's going to be the long term implications of that with regard to those rates? if we do nothing and don't add users? And the second question is, at what point would end users offset that shortfall to make it where we're not a slavery even maybe a little positive? Well, and, and what number would that be? Okay. We have about um, $500,000 or so in unreserved fund balance. If we use up $100,000 a year for the next five years, obviously we'll have no money. But there are inherent costs that increase, chemicals, payroll. So five years is not the answer. Three is probably the number. So if we do nothing, within the three, three years, we're going to have to raise the uh, uh, sewer yeah. uh, rates. Okay. okay. Now, if we brought um, people in from the town, we would gather a significant amount of upfront cost, which if we put it in some sort of reserve fund and spread it out over the 28 years may offset some of that of that cost. Um, if we were the village users, that would not be as much as you saw. Now, here's the problem I have. And the problem I have is taking the village fees and the Hamiltonian fees and we add those up they're not covering the debt. So we're using user fees to cover the debt as well. Um, that's something I personally don't like. That doesn't mean it's wrong. I prefer to see the fees cover the debt and the user cover the operations, but that's not necessarily the case here. I'd like to look into that further to see how that could be uh, revamped. Uh, perhaps lowering the usage and increasing the fees. But there's a complicated fee structure here because you're doing it by unit, not by, uh, by building or something like that. But um, this is really the beginning of a new look at, at, the, at the way we're doing this. And, uh, and, and then we also have the unknown, what will the auditors come back at and, uh, uh, if anything, to say, do this or don't do that. Um, so I think we take that report, which is not due until the next year, and uh, look at the cost, and then maybe you have a better opportunity to make a better decision. Also, if we uh, a conversation between the village and the town is causing a cash flow um, situation, which is, if it goes on for any length of time, will of course um, cause us to um, create a situation where, although we have a receivable, you know, money. I don't know if 
can answer all four parts of the question. For the most part, just trying to figure out if we want to prevent that shortfall from making those freeze rates. Is there a certain number, magic number of units, like 